Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Martha. Today I'm going to be doing a very quick walkthrough of this tarot deck, The Everyday Witch. One of my top favorites. It's been a favorite for a very long time and I don't think that's going to be changing anytime soon. Now I know a lot of walkthroughs have been done about this, but I'm going to create one of my own for my own channel and for my own viewers, so I hope you enjoy it. The cards come in this nice sturdy box. It's quite large actually. I mean, if you look at the size of the card itself, you know, there's quite a difference. Now I don't store my cards in here. You could if you wanted to, but I keep them in a smaller container, much more convenient, and I just keep the box on my shelf. So it's a magnetic closure. The cards are right in here, and they come in they come together with a really gorgeous, gorgeous guidebook. Each card has a color image and the majors, they actually have a section for notes. The minors don't, but I mean, that really doesn't matter. You know, you've got enough information just to get a message and learn a little bit about the cards. Now, if you ask me if this is a deck for beginners, absolutely. This is a fantastic deck for beginners. It follows the Rider weight system and it is very easy to work with, very intuitive. Just the images alone are going to give you messages immediately. So in the uh, guidebook itself, you're going to learn a little bit about the author, a little bit about the artist. You have a table of contents, an introduction. Um, hmm. All right, so there's another chapter here about the deck and how to use it, how to do a reading. What else have we got here? Lots of information about how to do a reading. Common questions and answers. Let's see what else we've got here. Okay. And some tarot extras like spells, how to cleanse your cards and so on and so forth. And then we get into the cards themselves and the meaning. So as you can see here, you've got the card, um, a sentence just basically to describe it. And then you've got the messages and more details and things to consider. So here, for example, you've got where it says the fool and then in quotations, embrace the unknown. And then there's a little bit of information and then things to consider. It's it's a really lovely book. I have read the entire book and I don't I don't always read all of them. And as you can see, I've got a bookmark slipping <laughs> bookmark slipping out from here. All right. So let's get right to the cards. There are a lot of walkthroughs of this and I, I don't want to keep anyone here longer than necessary because most of you know this deck. All right. So the backs of the cards are really pretty. They're not reversible. So if you're doing, if you're the type to do reversals, then this might not appeal to you. Maybe you don't care. Maybe you do. I don't mind because I don't do reversals, but they're just so lovely. And let's take a look at the cards. All right. So we have the Fool, the Magician, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot. I love this chariot. It's one of my favorites. Strength. The Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Justice, The Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, The Devil, The Tower, The Star, The Moon, The Sun, Judgment, the world. So those are the majors and let's get to the minors. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, 
Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. And now we begin the wands. And before I continue, I mean, you can see the cards are just so beautiful and vibrant. I love that there are no borders. And I love that they have the witchy theme to them. So what I'll do when I finish the, uh, going through the deck and showing you the cards, I'm going to shuffle, choose a card for us as a focus of the day. And I'll read from the guidebook so you can see how the author um, presents the cards, what messages the author has created for us. All right, so Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands. Doesn't, I mean, this is just such a great card. I mean, she looks all beaten beaten down but she hasn't fallen she's still standing and she's protecting her territory her boundaries whatever it is that needs uh, protection maybe even her little cat <laughs> ten of wands page of wands knight of wands queen of wands king of wands and now we're on to the cups ace of cups Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the King of Cups. And finally, my favorite suit, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, my favorite Queen, Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords. Yeah, gorgeous. I just love this deck. All right, so I'm just going to shuffle behind the camera because I don't want to bump into it. And we'll see what card comes out for us. And that's the one I will read from the guidebook. All right. Oh, here we go. All right. I'll just put these down. I haven't taken a look yet to see what it is. We'll find out together. Oh, the world. What a great card to show up. All right, so let me just get behind the camera here and get to that page. And I'm going to read that for us. All right, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, almost there, folks. There we go. All right, here we go. All right, so you can see you have a nice color image and it says success and celebration. Huzza or huzza, or I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. It doesn't really matter. Let me just get to the main uh, part here. So here you've got the uh, name, okay, the, the card itself. And then it says the world is your oyster unless you don't like oysters, in which case it is your hot fudge Sunday. All right, so let me read what it says here. A witch throws her black hat into the air and it sails away on the wind. The sun is shining and she is on a tropical beach with her bare feet in the waves as they meet the shore. A little, a little farther from the water, there is a blanket spread with a feast including a large glass with fruit on a stick and a tiny umbrella. A black cat sits by the blanket, looking pleased. The mood is of joyousness and the attainment of all desires. This witch may have taken a long journey to get here, but at last she is right where she wants to be. 
Break out the bubbly and strike up the band. There is a lot to celebrate. The world card signifies completion, the attainment of goals, and success in whatever endeavors you have been pursuing. If, if it is the final future card in a reading, no matter what comes before it, you will triumph in the end. The world is another one of those rare cards that has no negative interpretations. Nothing but good times ahead, baby. You did it. Pat yourself on the back. Hell, have someone else pat you on the back too. You deserve it. And then there's a, a section here about things to consider. If you have been striving for ages, working hard to achieve your dreams, getting the world card is very good news indeed. It means that sooner or later, success will be yours. Depending on the card's placement in a reading, that goal may be some time off, but at least you can continue the journey knowing that eventually you are going to get there. If you asked a question and got the world card, you can be pretty sure the answer is a loud and enthusiastic yes. All right, so that is the everyday witch, and this is the card we're going to be focusing on today. Good times ahead and reason for celebration. So I hope you enjoyed that. I would highly recommend this deck for someone who's looking to uh, get something beyond the standard RWS. It is a very beautiful deck, very easy to work with, very gentle energy, but solid messages. All right, my friends, take care, be well, and I'm going to see you next time.